All right, so in this video, we're going to discuss how to actually host and put together a website. But before we do that, let's go over a quick review so we have a, a big picture idea of what's going on. First of all, we talked about affiliate marketing, the structure, how it all works, how you get paid, all those different kinds of things. Next, we talked about a niche because in today's new information age, it's important for you to focus on a specific niche because there's too much competition in these big, broad areas. For example, if you had a wedding shop or a bridal shop, you wouldn't want to just have uh, a website about a, a bridal shop. Uh, that's too broad. We need to go more specific, something more niched specific. So we talked about like petite wedding dresses or plus size wedding dresses or Victorian style wedding dresses. So. Now we have an understanding that we need to go into more of a niche in order to make money as an affiliate marketer. We also realized that we need to have a website, so we went in and talked about how to purchase a domain from GoDaddy or any other place like that. And then we also went into uh, a little bit more of a technical aspect of how to host that URL, the domain name that you purchased onto a hosting platform. Again, you need hosting. Every website needs hosting, so you can't really get away from that. Some are free, some cost money. Uh, definitely urge that you that you pay the money for hosting because free hosting can can definitely limit you, especially if you start to get more and more traffic. But don't want to get into that too much. Don't want to cloud what we're going for here. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually create a website. Now, the easiest way to do this, especially if you are not uh, technically savvy, we want to move into creating a WordPress blog. WordPress is a very, very famous platform, a free platform, that allows you to create a blog-style website. Those things can also be manipulated. The, the templates or the look and feel of the website can actually be uh, tweaked and changed and made into look more like a traditional website, uh, maybe by a professional designer you can hire, or you can actually find webs or you can actually find templates or themes as they're called at WordPress.org. But again, getting kind of ahead of myself, the main thing that we want to focus on is setting up a blog on your domain. So what we need to do is we need to find a program called Fantastico. Now, Fantastico is this awesome one-click install for major platforms like Joomla and WordPress and Drupal and all those fancy um, web web-based uh, uh, platforms. So, what we need to do is again, we're logged into the back end of the HostGator account. Uh, if you have a different uh, hosting platform, the main point is that you need to be logged into your control panel. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find this program called Fantastico. Now this is often found in the software services, something like that. You'll see a lot of a lot of things that look cool but are very confusing. Things like Ruby gems. I have no idea what that is, but that looks cool. Uh, Ruby on Rails also looks cool. Um, I know of it, but I don't know what it is. So, moving on, we want to click on this little smiley face. This is Fantastico Deluxe. Now, before in the previous video, the whole point to point the whole reason to point your domain at your server was so that you could now install a WordPress blog on that domain. So what we want to do, you got a bunch of different options, a bunch of cool things that you can do and uh, we want to aim for WordPress. Now we got a couple of them as you can see I'm kinda involved in internet marketing so I've got a bunch of different websites, a bunch of different things that I'm testing. What we want to do for our purposes is we want to click on new installation. Once we click on new installation, it's going to ask a few questions. It's first of all going to ask you what what domain do you want to install this on. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Paula Hill ASD. This was a, a website that my mom almost used but didn't, so we're going to go ahead and use that because she's not using it anymore. Thanks, mom. So <laughs> the next thing it says install in directory. You want to leave this blank because you want this this blog to be installed on the root directory or the main URL. So it would be this would be installed on paulahillasd.com. Now, if you want this as like, you know, if you already have a website and you want to attach a blog to it, uh, a little side note here is that all you do is do forward slash and then whatever you want to add. So uh, if you if it was Paula Hill ASD and you already had an existing website, you would type in uh, forward slash like blog or something like that, right? So that's, but, but we want to keep it just as is.
The next thing you want to do is you want to add a username and password and a nickname. And you know, these are all basic uh, self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And then when I'm done with all this, I'm going to click on Install WordPress. And that's literally um, all that needs to happen. The other thing is that you need to add uh, an, an admin email address in here. This is an email address. They're going to email the username and password and how to log in and all that kind of stuff. And if there's any comments or anything that you need to approve, this is the email address it will go to. So make sure that you have this is an email address that you're going to be checking all the time so that you can stay on top of it. So I'll pause the video really quick and then we'll jump right back into it. Okay, so now that I've clicked on uh, install the WordPress, uh, it's just going to give you a few notes here. And it just says that it's it's created a database and this is in the main directory and just letting you know how things are happening and how things are setting up. So the last thing you do is just click on finish install. And as soon as it's finished loading, then it will say, okay, this is done. Um, don't don't mess with anything. Uh, honestly, from from this point on, if you just don't mess with anything from here here on in the Fantastico the platform here, uh, you'll be fine. So it's just making sure, like, you do not want to remove any files. You know, just just don't don't, don't mess with it. Uh, and also, you can actually uh, email the details of your uh, installation. And uh, and yeah, there you go. So you can send an email or not. So now if we, uh, let's see, if we click on this here, this is the login uh, here to the WordPress. As you can see, you can click on go back to Paula Hill ASD right here. And bam, there we go. We've got a, we've got a nice, uh, nice WordPress blog. And we can actually go back and uh, find different templates and all that other kind of stuff. And we can go from there. But now you have a website that you actually have. And you can start talking about the things that you talk about. If you liked this video and want to see more, feel free to check out the other videos by clicking any of the links here. If you want to see more videos like this, please support this channel by subscribing, favoriting, and sharing these videos on the social media sites shown below. Also, feel free to leave comments or questions here in the videos or on our YouTube channel. Your feedback helps us to know what to talk about next. To access additional free and more detailed training on affiliate marketing, simply click the link below. Once you are there, enter your name and email address so you can receive access to more detailed training about affiliate marketing. Thank you and we wish you the very best in your business.